In this video, we are going to talk about how to find the coordinates of the center, vertices, covertices, and the foci of the ellipse with the given conditions. For example, number 1, we have x squared over 169 plus y squared over 25 equals 1. As you can see, our equation is already written in standard form, which is x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. So the value of a square is 169. The value of b square is 25. To find the value of a and b, let us extract both sides of the equation. So we cancel the radical sign in exponent 2. So we're going to have a equals the square root of 169 is positive and negative 13. And for the value of b, let us extract the roots. So b is positive and negative 5. Using the given information, we can easily identify the coordinates of center, vertices, covertices, and foci of an ellipse. Always remember, whenever we have an ellipse which is vertically oriented, B is greater than A. If our ellipse is horizontally oriented, A is greater than B. Now, let us find the coordinates of the center. So center is always H and K. So as you can see, now we're given, we don't have h and k. So therefore, our center is 0, 0. Now, let's find the vertices. Vertices is always the major axis. Since our um, given equation, the value of a is greater than the value of b, we can say that our ellipse is horizontally oriented. Whenever we have horizontally oriented, we are going to have we're going to add the value of a, which is positive and negative 13, to the value of h to find the vertices. So therefore, we're going to have 0 plus 13 is 13, and then we're going to write 0. And then, negative 13 plus 0 is negative 13, 0. Okay? Now, let's determine the covertices. So to find the covertices, since our ellipse is horizontally oriented, we're going to add the value of b to the value of k, which is 0. And we're going to write the value of h. So the value of h is 0, and the value of k is 0 plus 5, that is 0, 5. At the value, on the other side, we have 0, and we have negative 5 plus 0 is negative 5. So we find the center vertices and covertices. Let's find foci. So to find foci, let us determine first the value of foci. So you are going using the formula c square equals longer square minus shorter square. So longer here is 169 minus shorter, which is 25. So therefore, 169 minus 25 is 144. So c square is, let us extract the roots. So square root of 144 is positive and negative 12. Always remember, whenever we have a foci, it is always aligned with the covertices, or vertices, rather. So if we, we add 13 on 0, we're going to add 12 on 0. That is 12 and 0. And then negative 12 and 0. So there you have it, how to find center, vertices, covertices, and foci using the given equation. On example number 2, we have x squared over 144 plus y squared over 169 plus 1. As you can see, we have the similarity in example number 1 and number 2. So number 1 and number 2 is already written in standard form. So therefore, that is x minus h square over a square plus y minus k square over b square equals 1. We're in the value of a square is 144. The value of b square is 169. Now, so find the value of a and b. Let us extract the roots. So cancel this one. So a is positive and negative 12. Okay, and then for the value of b, let us extract the roots. So cancel positive and negative 13. Using the given information, let us determine the coordinates of the center. So the coordinates of the center is h and k. So we don't have h and k, so therefore our center here is 0, 0. Now, vertices. As you can see, if you're trying to observe, the value of b is greater than a. B is greater than A. Whenever we have an ellipse, which is B greater than A, our orientation will be vertical. 
Now, to find the vertices, we're going to have, we're going to write 0 and the value of b, which is 13. And then we write 0 and then negative 13 because our graph of ellipse is vertically oriented. Now, for the covertices, since our ellipse is vertically oriented, we're going to add the value of a to the value of h, and we're going to write the value of k. So that is 12, 0, and the negative 12, 0. Now, let us find foci. To find foci, we are using formula c squared equals longer minus shorter square. Now, longer here is 169, that is b. 169 minus 144, that is 25. So c squared equals 25. So c is positive and negative 5. Square root of 25 is positive and negative 5. Always remember, whenever we have a foci, it is always aligned with the covertices. If, co if we have 0, 13, we add 13 on the value of y. We're going to add 5 on the value of the center, which is k. So we have 0 and 5. So that is, we're going to write 0. And we, write, we add 0 plus 5, that is 0, 5. And then we have 0 and negative 5. On our example number 3, we have quantity of x plus 7 square all over 16 plus quantity of y minus 4 square all over 25 equals 1. So the equation is already written in standard form, which is x minus h square all over a square plus the quantity of y minus k square over, all over b square equals 1. Now, let us determine first the value of a and b. So a square is 16, b square is 25. So to find the value of a, let us extract the roots. So to cancel the exponent, a is positive and negative 4. And for the value of b, we'll do the same. So cancel the exponent and radical sign, b is positive and negative 5. Now, let us determine the center. Center is always h and k. So this time, we're going to have center. So since we have negative in our formula, we're going to have a positive. So we're going to have negative 7 and positive 4 as our center. So take a look at this, the given. The value of b is greater than the value of a. Whenever we have the value of b greater than the value of a, the orientation is vertical. or vertic our, our ellipse is vertically oriented. Now, to determine the vertices, we're going to add the value of b to the value of k, and we're going to write negative 7. Negative 7, 4 plus 5, that's 9. And then, negative 7, 4 plus negative 5 is negative 1. So that is our vertices. Vertices is our major axis. To find covertices, covertices, we're going to add the value of k, or the value of a, rather, to the value of h. So negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. And then we're going to write the value of k, which is 4. And then negative 7 minus 4 is negative 11 over and 4. So that is our covertices. To find foci, foci is always aligned in the, cover, in, in the vertices. So we're using formula c squared equals longer minus shorter square. Longer here is 25. So 25 minus 16 is 9. C square, so extract the root. C is positive and negative 3. So just like in the vertices, we add the value of B to the value of K. So this time, we're going to write negative 7. We add positive and negative 3 to the value of K because our, our um, graph is vertically oriented. So 4 plus 3 is 7. The negative 7, 4 plus negative 3 is, neg is positive 1. So again, 4 plus 3, 7, 4 plus negative 3 is positive 1. So that, that is our vertex, covertices, vertex, and foci. On example number 4, 4x squared plus 13y squared equals 52. So as you can see, our equation is not written in standard form. Our goal first is to convert this equation into standard form, which is x minus h square over a square plus y minus k square 
over b squared equals 1. So in order for us to make this equation into, perf into standard form, our goal is to equate this equation into 1. So in order for us to do that, let us divide the whole equation by 52. So we're going to cancel this one. So we're going to write 4x squared over 52. Let us simplify. So we're going to have x squared over 13. Because the simplest form, 4 over 52 is 1 over 13. So that's why we write 1x squared over 13, or simply x squared over 13, plus 13y squared over 52. That the simplest form is 1 for it. So we write y squared over 4 equals 1. So as you can see, the equation is already written in standard form. The value of a squared is 13. The value of b squared is 4. Now, to find the value of a, let us extract both sides. So a is positive and negative square root of 13. And for the value of b, let us cancel this one. b is positive and negative 2. Using the given information, let us determine the coordinate of the center. Center is... 0, 0, because we don't have h and k. Now, our vertices, vertex or vertices, as you can see, a is greater than b. Whenever we have a greater than b, our orientation is horizontal. If the orientation is horizontal, we are going to add the value of a to the value of 0. So we're going to have 0 plus square root of 13, that is square root of 13, and we copy the value of k. And then, 0 plus negative, negative square root of 13, that is negative square root of 13, and 0. So that is our co-vertices. Of vertices. Now let us find co-vertices. So to find co-vertices, we're going to write the value of 0, and we're going to add the value of b to the value of k. So we have 0 plus 2, that is 0, 2, and then 0, negative 2. Now, Let's find focus or foci. So we have c squared equals longer minus shorter. So our longer here is 13, and our shorter here is 4. So c squared equals 13 minus 4 is 9. So therefore, our foci is square root of 9, that is positive and negative 3. Foci is always aligned in the vertices. If we add 13, square root of 13 to the 0, this time, we're going to add 0, 3. C 3, or 0 plus 3 is 3. And then we, we write the value of k. And then negative 3 plus 0 is negative 3. And we write k. So that is our center, vertices, co-vertices, and foci. On our last example, we have 9x squared plus 16y squared plus 72x minus 96y plus 144 equals 0. In order for us to determine the coordinates, let us write this equation into standard form. And in order for us to do that, let us choose completing the square. So we have here the equation. So the first thing that we're going to do is to move 144 to the side of 0. So if we move 144 to the side of 0, we will give a negative 144. The next thing is we're going to group the value, the x and y's. Okay? So we have here 9x squared plus 72x plus 16y squared minus 96y equals negative 144. Now, to perform a completing the square, we're going to factor 9x squared plus 72x into 9 to have the value of coefficient of x that is 1. So 9 times quantity of x squared plus 72x divided by 9, that is 8x plus 16y squared. 96 divided by 16 is 6y equals negative 144. So now we can do a completing the square. So let us write 9 times x squared plus 8x plus blank plus 16 times y squared minus 6y plus a box equals negative 144. Since we have 9 here, we're going to add 9 plus a, multiply by a box plus 16 multiply by a box. 
whenever we add on the left side of the equation, we're going to add on the other side of the equation. So we're going to divide 8 by 1 half, or we're going to multiply 8 by 1 half and then square. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 square is 16. So we're going to have 9 times 16. And then 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 3 square is 9. So we add 16 and 9 to complete the equation. So we're going to add 16 times 9. So in order for us to simplify, 9 multiplied by the square root of x squared is x. The sign of the middle term is positive. The square root of 16 is 4. Then we're going to have a square plus 16. Square root of y squared is y. The sign of the middle term is negative. Sign, um, square root of 9 is 3. Square equals 9 times 16 is 144. So we cancel this one. That is 0. 0 plus 16 times 9 is also 144. Now, in order for us to, do, to simplify our equation, let us make this 144 equals to 1 by dividing the whole equation by 144. So we're going to cancel this one. So 9 over 144, that is 1 over 16. So that is x plus 4 square over 16 plus 16 over 144, that is y minus 3 square over 9 because the simplest form of 9 over 144 is 1 over 16 or simply x plus 4 square over 16 we do, we do not write 1 here because it's automatic 16 over 144 is 1 over 9 equals 1 so therefore we have a standard form of equation of an ellipse now the the value of a is a square is 16 b square is 9 so to term, determine the value of a, let us extract the roots. So a is positive and negative 4. And for the value of b, that is positive and negative 3. Now, using the given information, we are going to find the coordinates of center, vertices, covertices, and foci. Now, let's determine the center. Center is always h and k. So since we have positive 4, we're going to have negative 4. We have 3. So our center is negative 4 and 3. So as you can see, if you go going to observe, the value of A is greater than the value of B. Whenever we have the value of A greater than the value of B, the orientation of our ellipse is horizontal. So vertices, so X, we're going to add 4 and negative 4 to the value of H because our ellipse is horizontally oriented. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0, and we copy the value of k, and then negative 4 minus 4 is negative 8 and 3. Our cover it says we're going to copy the value of h with neg neg negative 4, and we're going to have 3 plus the value of b is positive and negative 3, that is 3 plus 3 is 6, and then negative 4, negative 3 plus negative or 3 plus negative 3 is 0. So that is, will be our coverage. Now, let's find foci. To find foci, we use the formula C squared equals longer minus shorter square. Longer here is 16. Shorter is 9. So 16 minus 9 is 7. So C squared, to find the value of C, C is positive and negative square root of 7. Always remember, whenever we have foci and vertices, vertices is always the major axis, and foci is always aligned in the vertices. So if we add the value of A in the value of H, this time we're going to add the value of C to the value of H. Negative 4 plus square root of 7, that is negative 4 plus square root of 7, and then we are going to write 3, and then we're going to have negative 4 minus 7, square root of 7, negative 4 minus square root of 7, and we copy the value of h. So there you have it, how to find the center, vertices, covertices, and foci of the given equation.